Hello my friends, yes, these is just a few of my um, true movies. I'll probably make this into a two or three part video because or else the video will just go on for ages. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. Hopefully on this video the volume's really good and you can hear me clearly. We've got this one, Shatter in the Silence. <coughs> I think this is the one where... Um, her dad's abusing her, so they find out they kick him out of the family, and then he wants to rejoin the family and be sort of normal. But oddly enough, she lets him back in, and then um, that happened to her when she was young as well. If I had children, which I don't, it happened to them. I wouldn't want him back, or whoever done it. So there you go. It's called Shatter in the Silence. Next one. I've got Wolf Creek 1, but I've just got Wolf Creek 2 here. Yeah, there is actually a man in Australia, or used to be, I don't know if he's still about. He used to sort of um, go about the, like that out back in Australia and get victims, lure the victims like backpackers, hitchhikers, that sort of thing, and take them back to his place and basically torture them. Wolf Creek. But they never found out who actually done it I don't think I could be wrong hopefully they did though next one Grim Love Hunger and for Affection I was about this man live alone a bit weird he placed an ad on the internet basically to someone to come and let let him eat them I know it's weird but it did happen in Germany I think Inspired by the true story that shocked the nation. But odder still, someone actually replied. Looking for a male between the age of 21 to 40 to slaughter and eat. Weird. There you go. He got stuck. <coughs> she gets drunk one night and drives home, which you should never do when you're drunk or been drinking. She goes through a red light and actually hits this homeless man and he's basically stuck on the bonnet of her car. She don't stop to help him or nothing, she just leaves him there. And this is all about what happened after she got home, still with him stuck on the bonnet of her car. Painful, exciting and darkly comedic. Next one, I don't remember what happens in this one, sorry about the glare, what love sees, a true story, that, next one is, <coughs> the girl next door, basically about these two gals, their parents die in a crash I think, so that they, they get they get sent to live with their aunt. She's a bit weird. She sees them start to make friends around the neighbourhood. She gets jealous for some odd reason. She's a bit mental. So especially the oldest girl, she um, locks her in the basement and gets even gets the kids around the neighbourhood to come and um, yeah. I'll leave it there. I don't want to spoil anything. If you want to see this yourself. Yeah, some people are evil. I'll just say that. And that's called the girl next door. <coughs> next one, we've got Dawn Ann, played by Deborah Winger. Based on true story. Basically, she's um, she's dying of I think she's got cancer, and it's just all the things. What she does, and then she gets diagnosed with that. Next, I've got to do these two at the same time, they're basically about the same thing. I'm getting dumb legs sitting on the floor. Excuse me while I adjust my position. Right, here we go, we've got Flight 93. Four terrorists wanted to turn Flight 93 into a weapon. 40 passengers in crew stopped it from reaching its target. <coughs> it was about one of the planes on that awful day, September the 11th. 
the um, crew, <coughs> excuse me, I need a drink. The crew actually managed to uh, make the plane actually swerve and crash land into a field or somewhere. But yeah, there's that in Flight 93. And I've got also got this one, World Trade Center. <coughs> Obviously about the same sort of thing. A true story of courage and survival. This film focuses on just two of the firefighters that helped that day. That they actually get stuck underneath one of the buildings, either underneath or inside. And that's all about that really. Really good story. True story of courage and survival. Really, the Flight 93 and that World Trade Center should never have been made. Because that, that awful day should never have happened. But it did. So Anyway, <coughs> moving on. Behind closed doors. <coughs> this just focuses on this young girl as she's growing up and her her pretty poor ch um, childhood and stuff. Sorry about the glare again. Next one is, <coughs> excuse me, Shattered Dreams, Scattered Dreams, I'm sorry I can't read. I don't really remember what happened. In, in prison for a crime they didn't commit, torn from the only thing that mattered, each other. So there's that. Based on true story. And Annabelle, I'll show you the Annabelle film. Before the Conjuring there was the Annabelle. But Annabelle, this film is actually based on a real story. of There is actually a possessed doll that's locked in a museum somewhere in America. Yeah. This this actual Annabelle film is really good. She's terrified during the conjuring, but here's where it all began for Annabelle. Yeah, it's based on true story. Really good. And that that's part one of my true movie collection. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.